as we know, have now spoken, giving Senator Ted Cruz a commanding victory and handing frontrunner Donald Trump what is being called this morning a major setback in his quest for the Republican nomination. Well, coming in from around the corner, we will see you back here in an hour <laughs> with Eric yep. and with me. Our number starts right now. See you then. Bye. And new numbers in the poll in the race for the White House. And it's from New York State. One of the biggest prizes, a truckload of 95 <laughs> delegates here in New York as the campaigns put most of the Midwest to bed. And for now, head back east. Hello and welcome to Happening Now. I'm Eric Sean in for John Scott. And I'm Heather Doward in for Jenna Lee Great today. To Let's you. talk about that poll. <laughs> All right, some new rules to tell you about for investment advisors. If, Eric, let's start with you. Uh, what does a plaintiff have to prove in this case? Um, sure. Basically, the plaintiff in this case is about living together with the opposite sex. Yeah. Or that he's convicted. And, he, and so we know that that's a solid case and there were six individuals. For parents out there of young women who are attending uh, schools, they should know they go to the local police and then report it. Always go to, to the police security. first. Absolutely. And insist yes, on that. Absolutely. Because the school might try to discourage you from doing that, I right? think so. Absolutely. Because right. they have their own interests. Wow. Uh, Eric and Bob, thanks a lot. Some really important advice for folks out there. Eric, let's yeah, have a Well, thanks for joining us. The real story starts right now. Bye-bye.